Hey there, folks, and welcome to Hogarth's Global Astrology. Know your planets, know yourself, or know your nation, know yourself. And um, I am uh, filming this. This is just a little intro uh, video just to basically explain the video that you are going to see uh, following. And uh, what time is it now? It's like, I think it's like 4 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> Could 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 uh, could could not get to sleep and um, uh, because uh, you know I'm quite excited to to share this video. So to to get straight to the point, as you know, last night there was no uh, uh, Hadigra on Saturday, um, which of course I normally do with uh, Diane and of course Ganga, and we did that a day earlier, Friday. On um, of course on. Diane's channel. I'm not even fully awake. I've just seen it. it's just ten. It's now eleven minutes past four uh, in the morning, and I, I find that I'm just waking up at four a.m. You know, just kind of naturally unprompted, and supposed to be like meditation hour or stuff, something like that. Anyway, the point is, I am digressing. So it is Sunday, the thirteenth of February, four eleven a.m. UK time. Why this little preamble? Because, of course, I went to King's Place last night, which is um, a place that I uh, used to work at. Um, well, actually, technically, I, I, I still work there. And, you know, but obviously I do a lot of uh, YouTube these days. And I started my channel uh, on the 30th of March 2020. So it's coming up for almost two years now. But this is where I spent the majority of my time before I started my YouTube channel. And um, I have a long, long relationship uh, with this venue, which is a, a music and cultural venue, also known as, the, it's also the headquarters of The Guardian. And I was uh, not only uh, helped uh, manage uh, as a duty manager some of the uh, concerts there, but mainly the conferences. So you will see references to that um, in the video. As you know, I'm taking my channel in a slightly different direction. And I just thought it was time that that just you guys just knew a little bit more about about my about my background and what I was doing before I became a, a YouTuber and an astrologer officially. Even though I was always doing astrology, you know, um, while I was at work, even at conferences and stuff like that. And you will see some of those people um, that are a part of my life and some of those characters uh, before I started my YouTube channel. And I just thought that you guys would actually find that um, just something very uh, interesting and to contextualize what, what you're about to see. Uh, we're going to be uh, it's the video is about a band called Down Is Up and and they're an ensemble and they focus on their creative uh, works primarily of a man called Moondog and I get them to explain a little bit um, of who Moondog is and he is essentially uh, an American, um, as far as I'm aware, uh, composer who was sort of homeless I think at, at, at at one point or certainly for the for the majority of time um, as as an artistic and creative person. And what you're going to see in a, in a way, you can just really refer to it as 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 a box pop. I mean, I did mention to uh, one of the band members and asked them if it was a, if I could film some of the performance, which I've done. So you're going to see a combination of clips that I that I will have stitched together in post in post edit um, of that performance or parts of that performance it's a large ensemble and three of the people that I know in that uh, ensemble uh, Ollie uh, Rosie and um, oh my god my mind's just gone absolutely blank <laughs> My mind's just gone completely completely blank but he is the guy that is wearing the uh, he is wearing the black waistcoat with um, this kind of gold um, shirt underneath. That's 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 that, that's the, that's the best way um, I can describe it. And um, what I'll also do as well is 
I'm also going to, um, here we are, I'm also going to attach the program, sort of like the program notes and uh, the lyrics behind. So when I actually post this video on the, on the community page, you will also have access to that. And there's this kind of sing, sing along um, at the end uh which is which is lovely which i recorded as well so we're going to see king's place where where i used to work we're going to see characters that i used to work with we're going to see performance but we're, i'm also showing you the venue and some uh, behind stage things as well and some of the behind stage people that i know uh as well so it's it's a vox pop um, and also as well, it's quite spontaneous as well. Not everyone necessarily knew that I would be that I would be filming. So just just under, so there's a, a kind of a funny element in that in, in that element there as well. And some people will be running from the camera or to the camera or they're reacting to me seeing me because, again, some of these people I've not seen for a long time because of uh, because of lo Emilio. There we are. It's just come to me. Emilio. Uh, he's the guy in in the gold in the gold top. So I hope you enjoy this video. But I felt it was necessary that I have a little preamble first because it's not it's not really technically about um, astrology uh, in this perspective. Although I do mention make reference to um, astrology towards the end, and there'll be some little extras as well, some kind of like outtakes as well for. Uh, the uh, top tier of my uh, membership as well, where, um, you know, it's just just quirky, quirky little things. Let me know what you think about this video in the comments below. It is something slightly different, but, you know, I also want to share uh, with you guys because a lot of, well, not all of you, but many of you may not know that I'm also uh, an artist. Uh, I, I spent a lot of time in the arts. I went to art school. I do have a creative background. Um, and of course, I'm a big fan of music and culture, and that's been a huge part of my life. And it's something that I've not really shared in detail uh, before. So uh, and that's also introducing, you know, introducing that more creative side. I'm also a novelist as well. I mean, I need I've still got some little spat going on with them um, <laughs> that I need to sort out with uh, Amazon uh, books and stuff. And that when that when that everything is up and running, I'll share more about um, the two novels that I've written as well and also as well just to add uh you know there is actually a book that i've actually done about the uk an astrological book about the uk so this is a just a this is a, an expansion of going forward in a way of sharing much more about that side of my life which is not directly connected with um, astrology but nonetheless many of you may find Interest, interesting, especially as there's over 10,000 of you now that are uh, that are subscribers and you come to my channel anyway because you want something. Um, many of you expressed uh, want something slightly different, someone who is uh, taking a different perspective on things. And I do that as well with my astrology. As you know, I'm a neo-Vedic uh, astrologer, which means I take the philosophy of Vedic astrology and also apply certain concepts of western astrology without changing the signs uh, or the nakshatras which are really sacrosanct uh but that really does add things and as we know i do my tarot and all that stuff as well as you know from hadaiga and my other shows and collaborations but this is something a little bit different and it is it's very fresh as you guys know i like to be spontaneous <laughs> Not everyone was necessarily expecting to be filmed or knowing that I would be filmed and you've got their natural uh, reactions. But I think that is part of the charm. So without further ado, the video is now going to start and then you'll see a little bit of me uh, at the end. And um, yeah, let me know your thoughts and if you've enjoyed this. And of course, I can share other insights, but it is a plan for me to literally be more mobile anyway with my channel, less in my living room even though we all love the lighting and more out there in the world, meeting and interacting with you beautiful people. All right. Enjoy the video. Okay. Hello, folks. Welcome to Hogarth's. 
Global Astrology, I am here in King's Place and I'm, you can see I've got a bit of a sweat on because I've had to try so hard to get here. This is the, the new Google headquarters here in London being built. Let's just show you this here. And here I am in King's Cross on York Way and I am making my way to King's Place, which is... Um, uh, a cultural ve cultural venue that I used to work at. Here's some people in Frankamanka getting a little bit of pizza going on in there. And uh, so what is King's Place? It used to be, once upon a time, it used to be an old post office. And now it actually has one of the deepest basements in the UK. And uh, because they, we weren't allowed to build up, we're walking up to this building now. Here we are. It's a very discreet building. And I used to work here for many years, for, for about 10 years. So I used to work front of house. And then I became part of management and started to manage the conferences, but also run some of the uh, concerts as well. And I'm here tonight. As you guys know, this is my day off from Hadaiga today. Uh, Diana kindly hosted, Di well, Diane kindly hosted and I'm going to see some friends uh, tonight performing who I have not seen for years since the first lockdown in March 2020 and they are performing tonight. This is also the headquarters of the Guardian newspaper which I just showed you there. Sorry for all the old um, camera jiggle jiggle. I wanted to use my gimbal but there wasn't enough time to kind of practice with it today. So here this is there we are. You see King's Place. I'm walking. Here is the King's Place Gallery. And I'm running late because there were so many uh, engineering works. And I literally, I could not get myself to King's Cross. But here is King's Place. And I thought I would show this to you guys so you can see. And actually there's someone here that I recognize. Russell. <laughs> you're on camera don't say anything funny <laughs> this is russell who i used to work with so russell you're probably wondering what am i doing because uh, i've i've got a youtube channel now and uh i'm watching the the guys down is up which is i think they're on in the second half i was meant to get here earlier but there were engineering works and it was just absolutely ridiculous and just uh, giving sort of like my viewers a little bit of a background on my life because I used to work here for years. So me and Russell, we used to work together. He's not expecting to be on camera, but uh, one of these things. But this is King's Place, everyone. So I'll just give you a little spin so you can see. Forgive the sweat here. And it has this extra... So these are the... Um, this is the seating area. Green and Fortune Cafe, and you're probably wondering where everyone is, and it's because, because obviously I'm late, everyone's in the concert now, but my friends are actually on in the second half, they are the main act, and if you look here, there's an incredible atrium, can you see that? And this building, these floors up here, are also belong to The Guardian, but you'll also see uh, there's a huge drop now, when I first started working at this building, it used to give me vertigo. There it is there. Everyone's in concert. I'm going to have a chat with the front of house uh, staff. This is the Rotunda Bar, just here. Uh, many kind of staff party events and drinks. And now we're going to go down the escalator. And you will see... Oh, I recognise someone. That is Graham. <laughs> And so here I'm going to be seeing uh, front of house and these are the people I used to manage and stuff like that. As we go down the escalator, here's the gallery levels. So you can see here. And I'm making my way down. And I'll probably get a drink at the bar. There's a few people I recognise. There's Tommy. And I think Esther's working tonight. You want to be on YouTube, guys? <laughs> I'm saying a little hot. These are my work colleagues. Hello. <laughs> Esther. <laughs> I've got you. I've got you. I've got you. <laughs> She's trying to hide. 
Hello. Yeah, All right. Cool. So, I mean, I know, I know this is a, a little bit of an ambush. Look, my, my, my colleagues are not expecting this. A, I was supposed to be here, but the engineering works, so I'll keep them off camera for a little bit. But um, this is all too. What is this teeping thing? What's that? Oh, it's for the kids. You know. Oh my god! I thought it was an incense sticks. <laughs> Don't you reckon? It looks like something you put in the toilet. Don't you think? <laughs> anyway, Tommy, Tommy, give me a oh, here. oh my lord, oh, oh god. How you doing? See, this is this is Tommy and Annabelle. We worked <laughs> together for, for ages. Uh Tommy owes me 40 quid, by the way, but I'll Do let I? it go. I'll let it go. Do I? Yeah, you didn't pay for your consultation. Never mind. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. oh what are you a bit COVID-y or what? Or are you, no, you just keeping it on? Oh, is Tommy's got asthma, isn't he? Oh, that's it, asthma, asthma oh, yeah, and stuff, yeah. stuff like that. Bunny, so nice to see you. So I'm making a lot of noise and a bit of flap. Here, people are probably waiting to get in to the concert. And I'll stop the camera here and I will play it again on the um, second half. But I'll get myself something to drink and I'll play you a bit when my friends are playing and then we'll do a bit of catch up with them afterwards. So I hope you've enjoyed that, giving you a little bit of insight into my life. And uh, yeah, see you soon. So folks, we are backstage. I'm gonna try and find hall two. <laughs> it's, been, <clears throat> it's been so long that I've actually, I've actually kind of forgotten a bit. Actually, I've just remembered I need to go through the green room. So this is the backstaging of hall one. And of course, I'll be seeing everyone later. This could be the band here. They don't know if they're being filmed. Oh, I think it is. So I'm just gonna cut my way through the, hello. I might be seeing some of you later, but that might make sense, one second. And here I'm backstage. Ruth, are you ready for a surprise? Oh my goodness, who are Darling, you're on camera, just so you know. What is happening? It's a stage invasion. <laughs> My this favorite stage invader. Oh. Oh. We've not seen each other in ages, so I know. you're probably don't, wondering what don't is going leave. on. Don't leave. <laughs> don't leave. Don't leave. <laughs> now I've got you trapped. It's a bit it's a bit a sad story for oh. you, isn't it? Well, well not at all. Not I've at got appetite in here, I could strap you to <laughs> So everyone's probably thinking, what's going on? So I'm this, kidnapping this, 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 this is Ruth here. Ruth is st opera, singer, opera singer and stage <laughs> performer. And we are backstage. We're backstage of Hall 2. And there is... Um, so my friends will be performing later. So you're really getting the inside scoop. Ollie! This is my friend, Ollie. Wow. You were just going on. Oh, oh my god right okay my friends are just about to go on i need to dash this is ollie is it a video this is ollie she's performing very soon she's about to go on and i'm gonna go out and round the other side and we'll have a little chat later good luck good luck okay <clears throat> the performance is about to begin and I'm just sitting here in the Manchester front row. Actually, front row was free. You can see the one is. All the people were in. I'll show you a bit of video of the stage. And just waiting for my friends to start their performance. So uh, you shall see it soon.
main note like any time signature in five or seven. And although he occasionally wrote in four four, he once warned ominously the human race is going to die in four four time. <laughs>
magic with you. Uh, and now uh, we have a joining in number. <laughs> and so if, well, actually, I think the lyrics are going to be printed up here. They're also on the back of your programs to take home. This is like um, Moondog's hymn. It's got some very valuable life advice. Um, so you, you'll get the tune pretty quickly. But please do sing your heart out. Again, so um, Moondog, can you just tell us a little bit about Moondog for anyone that may not be familiar? Most of my audience is in America, but it is all over the world. So, if you could just give a little, little bit of talk about how you also got together as well, how did this begin? This collaboration, sorry. <laughs> Um, well, Moondog is uh, a composer. I think he was born in like 1916, so he was, but he was writing up until like the 7th. No, he died in 1999. So it was a real 20th century. Um, but his, his music's quite unique. It doesn't really fit into any category. <laughs> 
sorry, um, this is very informal, by the way. Don't, don't worry, Percy. It's YouTube, don't worry. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't <laughs> yeah. have to be perfect. It's yeah. not about perfection. The most yeah. prolific <laughs> critic, I would say. Yeah. Um, he, he was, like, sort of semi-homeless. Right. Um, yeah. Which is what we mentioned, the police department in New York considered him mm. a beggar, according to their records. Um, so, I guess, in performing his music... On the way here, for instance, there was someone busking that could have been potentially homeless and it made me think, you never quite know, you know, who you're just walking past to be so righteous. To give you a little bit of righteous on YouTube. Yeah. Well, the concert was wonderful and it's a great opportunity for us to catch up. Obviously, we know what's happened in uh, March 2020, so I've literally not seen you guys for a long time. And everyone has been busy. But also as well, something I think is going on here. Serious, going on. <laughs> I won't say any more. I won't say any more. I will leave it there. So, guys, um, obviously, uh, you know, I'll put, I'll put this together. So, I just wanted to share with you all this. Uh, I worked at King's Place for 10 years, over 10 years, actually. It was like a decade and we used together. to boss me around at conferences. <laughs> really high profile conferences we signed NDAs can't tell you who but they were the biggest companies and you know Hoagie would tell us go here go there close the door open the door but it wasn't too bad though no he was really good and we got loads of breaks so you see so, so sharing a bit of uh, my life with you uh, before I started my YouTube in March 2020 so much has happened uh, since then so I just wanted to bring this to you uh, King's Place and oh so here we are this is the guy that was playing the drums in the back where's Emilio with his flashy kind of gold foil top he has a very good um, top well, he's, he's escaped Emilio's quite shy so guys I'm going to leave it there for now and uh, thanks for joining me alright do you want to say goodbye everyone bye, bye. Great concert, everyone. It was wonderful. Thank you so much. Hello, folks. So the concert has just finished. And here we are up on the one of the gallery levels. This is level minus one. And I just wanted to show you, give you an aerial shot here. Of, that's the audience. We've got this teepee installation. So um, that's new. Um, I've not seen, seen that before. because It's been a while. Uh, of course, since I've been at King's Place because of lockdown, etc. I have done uh, the odd little thing here and there, but a lot has changed since then. So this is the level here, the gallery level, where we have uh, a lot of the cutting edge in terms of sculpture here at King's Place. And uh, it might seem like a bit of a plug, actually, mightn't it? But it did actually work here for 10 years. Oh, well, actually, over 10 years. And... And it's just a very kind of special place. I've always enjoyed working here. And, but of course, I now have my channel, my YouTube. So I just wanted to share that kind of, that side of my life uh, with you guys. Because obviously it's, it's coming up to nearly two years now that I've had my channel. And I don't often talk that much about myself. So in, that, in the sense of my life and, you know, what it's been like, etc. So I just thought I'll give these insights, share a little bit. And um, I really hope you enjoyed uh, the music. There they are. You see, there they are. That's the audience. And I really hope you enjoyed the music. And of course, I'll put this together uh, in the edit. Um, oh, time for me to actually get some food now. If we look at the time, it is 10.20. Here's everyone. And I'm going to get a bite to eat. I fancy a bit of pizza. Ooh. Might go to Frankamanco or I might get... Uh, make my way home and uh, get an order in pizza or something like that I don't know anyway so thanks for joining me I hope you guys found that interesting beautiful singing lovely music and of course there'll be Hadaiga next week if anyone is interested in uh, because King's Place does do online uh, events now of course because of the, of the pandemic I will put um, the King's Place website in the description below and I'll see if I can get the website as well um, of Down Is Up, the band who performed Moondog uh, tonight and some of their own original work. And that way if people are curious, then they can just get stuck in and, uh, and have uh, a little look. Actually, I've just had a thought. It would be really nice to show you guys Hall one, because here, look here, 
this is why I passed it. Uh, it still works. <laughs> I'm still on the books, just to say you here. This is the these sculptures and the illustrations. And now you're going to get a backdoor scene. Now let me see if my pass is actually going to get us in here. Now look, this is where they keep the chairs. I mean, you really are getting a kind of back scenes. And look, there's this door here. Let's see if my pass still works. Oh, it does. <laughs> well, my dears, you're in for a treat. Now, hall one, it's going to be dark. But if we see here, oh, crumbs. Might be too dark for you to see. Um, can't remember how to get the lights on. Um, can you see that? Oh, God, no, it's going to be too dark. Let me just see if I can get... Uh, let's see, let's see if I can... I'm being a bit naughty here. This is the control room. And there should be a motherboard here somewhere where I can get the lights on. Let me just see, this is... I'm being extremely naughty, but don't feel bad. I mean, you've got to remember I was, was a manager here, except that I can't remember where the light switches are. Where are the bloody light switches? Oh, my God. Oh, no, no, I shouldn't do that. I don't know where the light switches are. This normally, oh God, you can't see me at all. It's just going to be pitch black. What's going to be the point of this? Let's have a look. Um, I can't find the switch thing that would turn on the lights. Never mind, never mind. Let's let that one go because uh, it, was, it was a bit naughty for me anyway <laughs> to kind of do that. But hall one is beautiful. Maybe I'll just link in some images or something like that. Um, it's a shame because I did want you to kind of see the beauty of the hall. Anyway, I digress. So, here we are. Back to uh, level minus two. Time for me to totter off. I don't want to witter on too long. I don't want the video to be too long, but it was a lot of fun. And here we are. King's Place here, we can see Song Lines Festival coming up. Beautiful artworks. And this is everyone obviously leaving for their for their evening. So I'm gonna go up the escalator. And we are we will ascend together. And we will rise up. the atrium it's a wonderful building King's Place there's that level that I was on before some people here more people here attend the bar the cafe is now closed so um, but they do lovely food everyone will be chilling out in the bar let me actually just show you the rotunda bar as well i may as well just show you and this goes right on to the canal so this is the separate bar here i'll just introduce you know this is where the very chic and lovely bits and bobs and you can see this is where everyone comes to chill out post post performance etc you know stuff like that and now it's time to uh, basically it's time to go home so I hope all of you enjoyed that experience uh, seeing King's Place a place like I said I've worked I think we opened in 2008 and it was with uh, Beethoven um, unwrapped and here they program things seasonally so it will be themed around one composer or minimalism or something like that and they will do that for a whole year with lots of different kind of variations so in terms of my cultural education 
uh, and stuff like that was extraordinary. Can you imagine, sort of like 10, 10 years or so while well, oh, actually when you're managing you don't get to see that much, but certainly at least like eight years of concerts, talks, uh, performances, culture, um, the arts, uh, comedy, uh, dance, uh, conferences of all different kinds. Obviously, I can't really disclose all, all of them, but you know, there were some big ones. You know, some big ones, very big uh, uh, people that were here, and I was a part of that team that would help uh, manage those events and conferences. And it's just been an incredibly nutritional uh, experience for me working at King's Place. And there's always something new. Look, there's some little. Not quite sure what this is, but again, sort of like mini sculptures and stuff like that. And it, this has been a very influential place uh, in my life uh, with, with everywhere that I've worked, but particularly with King's Place. And we're all still friends and, you know, you can see my old colleagues and... Um, but we're all evolved and moved on to different things. Many, many of, of us are artists, creative people, uh, because really that was my main degree. Was it was a degree in the arts, and I just thought I would just give you this insight. This is the box office here uh, into a, a very important portion of my life. So I will leave it there. Thanks for joining me, everyone. And it's time for me to get some food. <laughs> I'll see you on Hadaiga and I'm gonna be trying to do more videos soon as well. I managed to sort of, sort of clearing my backlog a bit. I've done some, done some videos for the membership. So all just so you know, just, just to say, um, I've done the first installment of the, of Aries and its components. Some of you may have seen that already. So again, for the Vedic Apprentice uh, people, and higher, you'll be you'll be getting that. And for the uh, Secrets, Fame, and Infamy playlist as well, I have just done uh, JFK. Oh my goodness, the the cosmic timing that was involved in in his chart and circumstances are remarkable. I think after this, I will do Marilyn Manson. So again, if anyone has just joined, thank you so much for joining the membership. You know, there's lots of videos for you to get through and I'll be adding to that content. And I'll be announcing as well soon um, from my um, uh, free reading uh, membership as well, who's the next person that's gonna get a free reading. And it's just been a very interesting time. Let's see how 2022 unfolds. I'll be doing updates as well on America, America's chart, looking a bit at Russia, looking a bit at China, global events, uh, because it's time for a top up. And April, uh, well, March, April, it's going to be incredible. There's going to be lots of changes, lots of things happening. Remember I said, you remember I said, I said, leopards will be changing their spots. And we've seen already with uh, the likes of Mike Pence, uh, Mitch McConnell, and uh, someone else as well. I can't remember. There's, there's other people. But you see the thing shaping and changing. But I will leave it there. Enough from me. I will cut this all together with the magic of editing. And I will see you soon. But definitely you'll see me hosting Hadaiga again very soon. All right. Mwah! Everyone, I hope you enjoyed that, that little insight. I know it's something a bit different, but it lets you know um, what I was doing before I started my YouTube channel. All right, cheers. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.